Yo, what's up, guys? If you want a shout out or if you just want to support your boy, follow me on my Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Prince Hawkum. Make sure you hit that like on this video. Lastly, subscribe and turn your post notifications on. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Yo, what's up, guys? Prince Charming. We are checking out another Try Not to Laugh Cyanide and Happiness compilation. We all know how much we love Cyanide and Happiness compilation. I officially decided to make this like a real series on this channel. Like, we're gonna see a good Try Not to Laugh video of this, like, probably once or twice a week. Man, I remember when these first started, when they were just first comics, like in 2006 or 7, or I could be totally wrong or butchering, like 2010. I could be totally wrong, like I'm saying, but it started a minute ago with like poorly drawn comics, and now look what it's turned into. Just goes to show you guys, um, never give up on your dreams, never give up on your passions, always keep working, because one day you will make it. But don't forget to hit me with a like on this video, subscribe, and turn your personal... Turn your post notifications off so you never suppose. Call me something that'll make me laugh like always. The best replies will get a like or a pin or a reply or all of the above. You're gonna get something if it's funny, so make sure you comment something funny so I can laugh. But enough of me talking, let's go ahead and check out the Cyanide and Happiness Try Not to Laugh compilation. If you laugh, you take the L. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't go to space. Why not? Now I want to go to space just because you told me not to go. <laughs> hey there, kiddo. Playing spaceman again? Yeah, I'm gonna be an astronaut when I grow up. So, homie, okay. there are a few things that every spaceman should know first. Okay. We off to space we go, past the upper stratosphere. Wow. And okay. now we're passing the exosphere. Ooh. Oh, he's gonna die. He'll oh, have a suit. And away we go, as your body is deprived of oxygen. Oh gosh. Uh, what? <laughs> you won't need oxygen for where you're going anyway. Oh gosh. Because breathing on the moon would send millions of tiny rock fragments shredding through your lungs like itty bitty razor blades. But but what if I wore a spacesuit? Fat chance. Those are expensive, and you're a child with no marketable skills or previous work experience. <laughs> but Besides, killing his dream will only prolong your suffering for six to eight hours tops. Yes, kiddo, everywhere in space is deadly and not worth pursuing. What about Mars? You'd boil alive from solar <laughs> radiation. Well, how about Venus? I hear it has clouds like on Earth. Clouds of acid rain to melt you alive. <laughs> but I heard girls went to Jupiter to get more stupider. They go there to be crushed by the gravity of 10,000 Earths. Sheesh! Yes, Jupiter is covered 10, in 10,000? And so is everything else in any direction. Saturn! Not safe. You're a <laughs> Not safe. You're <laughs> Not safe. Not safe. <laughs> Studies show that 100% of deaths happen right here on Earth. Oh, wow. That's right. Space is nothing more They're than technically a right. expanse of excruciating pain and unimaginable horror. From Mercury all the way to Pluto. We're uh, not sure what's beyond that, though. It might be a landscape of frozen rock, aliens, or even God. But whatever it is, it probably eats children. Golly! I had no idea. That's right, kiddo. So next space time is insane. you feel like exploring space. So what do you want to be when you grow up now, son? Uh, a fireman. Good job. <laughs> oh, he has a video for everything. Filmographer for the man Fireman. Do you want him to be anything in life? <laughs> what a terrible father! Come on, bro. Yo, comb mustache. <laughs> Wow, that was just, that's just dream killing right there. That just kills so many dreams. Kids, if you want to go to space, I'm pretty sure it's not that impossible. I'm sure it is impossible. What am I saying? I don't want to give you false hope. <laughs> but space is very interesting. Like, I really do want to go to space. Not when I was a kid. I want to go right now because I really want to know what's out there. Is there a flying spaghetti monster? I know there's aliens, but what? how do they look? Where are they? What do they do? Do they get lit like we do? I want to know. Confession. Oh, someone telling a secret. Ooh, shoddy kind of bad. Honey, there's a reason I brought you out here today. I He dang his sister. I have a confession to make. Or at least I'm guessing that's a sister. I'm an alcoholic. Oh my gosh! That was that was just nasty. Ill vile. I didn't I didn't get the title. Grandma's house. Alright, grandma's house. Let's get it. What's up, Granny? Are you excited, son? Why don't Grandma live oh, here? Oh, weekend at Grandma's house. I bet she'll make you cookies if you're good. This house is kind of weird. 
I don't like it. <laughs> well, my mom. Yeah. Look how you've grown. Thanks for watching, and Maggie. We really appreciate. Why it. her face sag like that? <laughs> now, that dad, Santa, that dad ran off. Your room is upstairs on the right. Well, okay. But whatever you do, don't go into the room on the left. You must stay out of that room. Uh, <laughs> all right. I'll keep out. Remember, stay out of the room on the left. Now you have to go to the room on the left. Now you have to. She wants you to go in there. You see? She wants you to go in there. She did that purposely. She probably got the real grandma locked up in there. On me, bro. I'm calling it now. Oh, I'm scared. Ah! I told you not to come in here! Okay, that was pretty disgusting. Oh, you're definitely scarred for life. You're, you're pretty much scarred for life after that. After seeing something like that, you're really scarred. But to be fair though, she did tell you not to go on the door on the left. But how is it possible she was downstairs and then you go on the door on the left and she's there? So was that the real grandma or is there two grandmas? What is going on? Honestly, I feel like the best best uh, case scenario in that situation would to be just run out of the house <laughs> and deal with that situation later. Mothman. Officers, City Hall is under siege by armed thugs. It's time to call Mothman. Mothman! Turn on the moth signal! I'm on Mothman! <laughs> Who's afraid of moths? <laughs> well, I guess we have to do our job now. Dang! <laughs> Alright, spotlight's fixed. We got a bulb, a gel. Total is two thousand dollars. Sheesh! Oh, I'm not paying for it. Chief? Chief? What? Don't look at me. I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, what is that? Why would you want to be a moth man? Moths are nasty. You know, son, if you hold that up to your ear, you can hear the ocean. Someone can stick their tongue in his ear. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh god did he really die he really got lost out in the sea what come on yeah go find him pick it up ride the wave hey dad that man was over here water bending like he over here being katara and whatnot that's kind of clean. So he picked up the seashell and then it took him over <laughs> to the lost city of Atlantis. And he's over here chilling. I mean, he seemed like he was pretty happy on the conch shell. <laughs> thinking this is the last one. Staring contest. I'm thinking this is the last one. Damn, man. I am bored. Yeah, man. I'm bored as shit. What should we do? Y'all gonna stare at each other? Mm. Okay. You thinking what I'm thinking? Have fun. Staring contest! Ugh. Why are they eyes like that? <laughs> oh, look at that gazumba! I mean that bu bu that bamboomba. <laughs> Golly, bro, your eyes are gonna fucking pop out, dude. Cured. <laughs> oh, you're really blind now. You're really blind. He having the same contents bag. Yep, you're dead. Bye. See ya. <laughs> that was it for that video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know why they decided to have a staring contest and then they decided to look at the sun. If you look at the sun for one second with your eyes open like that, you can go blind, right? Because of those people who look at the sun during a solar eclipse and then they don't have their special goggles and then the sun comes back and their eyes are pretty much open and then they get the full flash and go, they go blind, yeah. But still, that was a pretty fun challenge. I had a very fun time watching those shorts, watching those videos. I did laugh, so I didn't take a dub on this challenge, but hey, maybe next time. Don't forget to hit me with a like, subscribe, and comment on this video if you want to apply from your truly Prince Charming. My name is Prince Ahaka. Stay charming, my friends. Thank you.